in a video, send them overseas to Iraq and Afghanistan to let the troops know overseas that we're still cheering for them here in the United States. Okay, sure. And then the Pentagon called me and I said, hey, how would you get my number? And they said, we got people. And uh, they said, hey, will you come to the Pentagon and sing your song? And I said, sure. And uh, they said, we've never worked with a Christian artist before. And I said, you've got no idea what you're in for. So we showed up and uh, we played our song and they said, hey, that's great, but you got 45 more minutes. And we said, well, we didn't prepare anything else. And they said, well, what else can you do? So it was the first time the Pentagon had had a 45-minute praise and worship set. And so this is uh, this has turned into a neat song. But I realize we're able here to be out here and be free and, like I say, be in a public place because of the fact that so many people have risked themselves for our freedoms. And if you ever served in the military, past, present, present, here, overseas, will you lift up your hands for a second? The reason we're able to be out here tonight is because these folks have lifted, given their best and, and risked their lives for the freedoms that we have today. You got brothers over there now? Well, we better do this one good then. All right, well, this is uh, this is that song for uh, my great-grandma. And, uh, man, thanks so much for having us out here to sing and sing. It's just been a blast to get to come out here with y'all and celebrate. We live in one of the greatest countries in the world that we can come out here again and lift up God without having to go to jail. And I just hope that the rain holds off, uh, for the, you know, so we can have a great afternoon here. But we've had a blast, and I can't really get one of those speedies. So uh, it's going to be a good thing. Thank <laughs> you.